we kick off News Literacy Week, we at NBC26 are on a mission to equip our viewers with the skills to scrutinize digital information with a critical eye. I recently got the chance to spend the day with students here at Appleton East High School for a hands-on lesson on news literacy. When it comes to local news, teenagers aren't always asked what stories matter to them. So on this day, it was our turn to listen. Teacher expectations. Co-ed sports. The ASD grading scale. Should high school have a later start time? Empowering these students to craft their own narrative. I know a lot of students struggle with waking up in the morning. Okay. And then they like miss their first class, which might be important, and they just like miss out on learning. But central to any story is research. Part of what I have to do as a journalist, because we have a lot of, we have a big responsibility, is to fact check and to make sure we're not spreading misinformation to the public. And learning to distinguish reliable sources from false facts online. Researchers at the University of Washington. The one I found on my phone was from the sleepfoundation.org, so I figured that these organizations were credible. Credibility matters. I did my Snapchat AI. <laughs> did you do any other like fact checking to find out whether or not that was real? Um. <laughs> okay. Have you ever found something online, you saw it, you latched onto it, you thought it was amazing, and then found out later it wasn't true? Just like edited videos or edited pictures yeah. that looked like so realistic because of all the AI generated stuff. And where is the biggest spreader of misinformation on the internet, where can you find it? Social media. Exactly, social media. That is the biggest spreader of misinformation. News literacy isn't just about spotting fake news. And there are different reasons why people spread misinformation, disinformation, they have their own agendas. Again, maybe it's to get more followers on social media. Maybe it's to sway voters, to get them to vote a certain way. It's not your job to figure out the reason. The, your job is to figure out how to not spread that kind of misinformation. It's about understanding the dynamics of misinformation and its consequences. Misinformation is like pollution because it affects like not only what you think about, it affects what you talk about, and it eventually affects the decisions that you make because it, it's influential. The News Literacy Project has a wealth of information and fun tools to help empower you and your family to stop misinformation. You can find some links on our website, NBC26.com. And stay tuned because all of those ideas from the students that you just heard, those are stories we're already working on to share with you at a later date.